It's probing time. Ooh. Hi, and in this lesson I'm going to teach you how to use light probes. It's not as painful as you might think. Here's our scene. Basically, we've just got, a, just to show you, we've just got um, a quad on the floor, a cube in the centre. They're both set to static because they're not going to be moved, so they're going to be baked eventually. Uh, and we have four lights in the scene just to show you what happens to our character as he moves through a real-time lit scene. So let's bring in our character. There we are. That's for argument's sake, we'll call him Donald. Now, as Donald moves through the scene, you can see that he um, takes on the light at, uh, at that specific location. So near the red light, now he's red. Let's go over to the blue light. As you can see, as he moves near the blue, then the, um, the character becomes blue. Now, that's cool, but what about if we want to bake that information in? So, we change all our lights, let's just set them all, and we'll set them to... Set them to bake. There we are. And we go to our lighting, and turn off auto, make sure we're running our ambient GI is baked, and then we'll hit build. And we'll save the scene, we'll call it probe scene. Yeah. So what happened now is the um, lighting will be baked into the scene. Here it is here. But we, just to show you that, if we turn off our lights, you can see that now all the information is now baked down into the scene and it can't change. But you'll notice that our character, when he walks through the scene, isn't lit by anything. Um, so if this was a big environment, he'd be moving around the room, uh, moving into dark areas or light areas, and nothing would happen. So how do we get around this? Well, there's a thing called light probes. So if we turn back on our lights and we go to component, no, game object, light, and then the light probe group, you can see that um, it drops in down some probes into the scene. Now what these do, they will store the lighting information at any given point and affect the things in the, in the scene that are set to receive light, so the, the, the moving objects in the scene that you want lit. What we need to do with these little probes, you can click on them individually, we need to move them around our scene and place them in the areas where there's a strong intensity of light or where light is transitioning from one intensity to another, or one value to another in this case, we go from red to green. So we want to place probes in the areas where they're changing the most or it's most intense. So, just bear with me while I scatter them around. There we are. So I scattered them around the scene. Doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to add more detail to your lighting, then you can go to Add Probe, and it drops another one in, and we can just move that to wherever we want it. We add another one, and move that to wherever we want it. Uh, and then you can just keep kind of going like that. Just bear in mind the more you have, the longer it's going to take to bake in the lighting because it has to be more calculations. So now that we have those in the scene, if you go back to our lighting and go build, it's going to bake those light probes. Works its magic. There we are, that was quick. Uh, what we do now is turn our lights off. And if you, if you have a look at the probes in the scene, you can now see that they're affected by the light that's kind of baked into them. That one's quite a good one, you can see that it's green from that angle, red from the angle there, and yellow coming from over here, and that one's bright blue because it's in the blue area. But more importantly, our capsule, which is our character, can now move through a baked scene and it will take on the lighting information of the probes that are around it. Now at runtime, you won't see these probes, this is just kind of for debugging area area debugging purposes but as you can see it moves to the green goes green as it moves to the blue you can see our character goes blue and as Donald moves to yellow he goes yellow and when he moves to the red he goes red so he's taking on the lighting information from all of the probes around him pretty cool and that can go for any uh, any non-static object in the scene so anything that's animated anything that has to walk around or move let's say for example you have, you have a door in an area uh, that door can't be baked in because when the door opens you'll see the shadow of the line on the door, um, on, the, on the floor. So you can use light probes to affect moving objects. So hope that helps guys. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you soon.
together, making memories.